YouTube, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a self-cut mid fade with the beard. I'm gonna be breaking down the whole tutorial from start to finish, so you wanna make sure that you stick around. This is the before and I'm gonna break down the haircut before we start. Step number one, we're gonna set our first guideline and we're gonna create the base of our haircut. So then we can go in and set our guideline with the lever open. You create that crisp guideline right there. So then we can go ahead and grab our one guard and open up the lever and create another guideline. And I'm going to break down how to fade those two guidelines in into this end result right here. So we're going to go ahead and start first doing the beard. I use my trimmers and I did mention that we're only going to use clippers for the whole fade. So I just wanted to make sure that you know, you guys are, are gonna be able to do your own haircut without using all this expensive equipment. All that I use for this haircut is my magic clip with the guards. The beard, I just really wanted to just run through it really quick. I just really wanted to put more emphasis on the whole fading process because I know it's more important to do the fade. But for the people that do have beards, you wanna make sure that you start on one side like I did in the beginning of the tutorial, match it in the middle, and then go ahead and do the other side. Just really nice and clean. You know, my beard was already previously done, so that's why I did it so fast. And when you use a straight razor, just hold it at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin out, and make sure that just you're just using your wrist to do all the, all the pressure work, it's all on the wrist. You know, just stretch out the skin and make sure both sides are even. So then we can go in and jump straight into the fade. For the fade, all you will need are just a clipper with a lever and the guards. That's all I use. At the end of the fade, I show you guys how my fade looks with the clippers. And then I refine it with my trimmer just to give it that extra touch at the end. So this is the end result guys of my beard. I really like to clean up the beard and my face because it makes me feel more um, organized when I go into my fade. So right here I point at the corners of my hairline because I just wanna make sure that you guys understand what the parietal ridge area is. And it starts at the corner of your hairline and it just dips down and I place the emphasis on that because you guys wanna make sure that you guys keep that area as dark as possible. Personally, for me, the foreguard works best when creating the base of our haircut and also keeping that nice crisp darkness on the parietal ridge area. So depending on how long your hair is from the top, that's going to really determine the, the number you use on the sides. So these steps are not really considered fading yet. We're just creating the base and we're getting rid of that excess hair on the sides so we can have a cleaner canvas and a cleaner space to work with. After you set the base of your haircut, we're gonna take a look at our C-cup area, which makes up our hairline. It gives us a reference point on where to start our first guideline, which is that we signal the middle part of our C-cup and dip it down towards the back of our occipital bone. The occipital bone is just the bone that protrudes from the back of the head. You wanna make sure you go towards in the middle of your C-cup and dip it down towards the back of your occipital bone. And the key here is to use your clipper with the lever closed and just use a very soft, gentle touch because if you go in too hard, it's gonna be really hard to blend out that line. The softer you go with the touch of your machine, the easier it's gonna be to blend out that guideline. After setting our first guideline and removing the bulk, we want to grab our two guard and open up the lever. That's an open lever that creates the two and a half. That's a closed lever and that creates the two guard. So our reference point for using the two guard is going to be three fingers. We're going to stay slightly below the parado ridge area because we did use a four guard and now we're going to blend in and scoop out like, I dem like I'm demonstrating in the video. Scoop out so we can blend in this two and a half into the four guard. Like I've mentioned before guys, this is just part of creating the base and the foundation of our haircut. We haven't really got Gotten straight into the fading yet so just stay patient if you've gotten this far at home if you're doing this by yourself at home you're ahead of the game just stay patient and keep repeating the process of these steps until your work just comes out really nice and clean and organized <laughs> 
after creating the base of our haircut, it should look identical to this. You guys should have a nice clean canvas. So then we can open up the lever and create our second guideline. It's gonna be one finger thick and it's gonna just run proportional to the guideline we have right there. So make sure that it's nice and even and you take your time to make this guideline as clean as possible. So keep just repeating the process of just going straight up and down, up and down until all the hair is taken out. Make sure you brush down your guideline and when everything is nice and even, we're gonna proceed to the next step. So after doing that step, this is how your head should look. You know, your guidelines should be easily visible. That is the half and we're gonna go ahead and use our one guard with the lever open to create an identical guideline, one finger thick, do the same motion, do the same pressure, apply the same pressure. So then we can organize our work and we can go ahead and blend out and start fading on the next step. get to the step that you know you see these two guidelines you want to make sure that you go through the guidelines multiple times so you can be able to see them visibly this is just part of you setting the foundation of your haircut so if you guys see here you guys can see both guidelines separately and that's what you guys have to be able to do from home so you guys can be able to tell the difference between the guidelines so then this next step that we're gonna do we're gonna erase them both so I'm gonna show you guys how to erase that line you guys see there. First, we wanna start with the lever closed and baby tap the beginning of the guideline. Open up a tiny bit our lever and go a little bit higher into the guideline. Open it up a little bit more, go a little bit higher. Open it all the way up until we're back to our starting position. And you wanna repeat those steps around the whole head until your guideline is completely erased. So if you guys want a starting point, either start closed and start in the beginning of the guideline or start in the middle with the lever in the middle, you hit the guideline in the middle and just keep repeating the steps, guys. It's that simple. Every time you guys see me move my index finger, I'm going a tiny bit higher into the fade, a tiny bit higher into the fade and just simply just using the corners of my clippers. After properly erasing the first guideline, it should look like that. Now we, we have one more guideline to erase. And the way we're gonna erase it, we're gonna go through two steps here, guys. We're gonna use our one guard and our half guard. But first, we're gonna use our one guard with the lever closed. Open it a tiny bit, go higher. Open it a tiny bit, go higher into the guideline. Open it more until we're fully open and back to the starting position. So repeat that step that we just did to erase the last guideline. So then we can proceed with our 0.5 guard to finish up our fade. After properly softening up our guideline, now we're gonna use our 0.5 guard. And you guys see there that, you know, it didn't erase. Our guideline didn't erase. We need the 0.5 guard to complete the whole process of our fade and we're gonna do the same thing guys this whole fade is the same method close to open you close the lever start at the beginning keep opening up little by little by little by little until you finish the whole thing until you end up with the lever open and then you just keep re repeating the steps until your guideline is completely erased So after completing those steps, we're now gonna finish up the fade. We're gonna blend that dark, those dark spots you guys see there. We're gonna use our 1.5 guard and blend that into the two guard that we used to create the base. 
the way we do this is the same thing guys you guys already know we're gonna close the lever and keep opening it up and we're scooping out here we're scooping out towards that two and a half that two guard that we used so just repeat these steps and the fade should come to life after you use the 1.5 guard This is how our fade looks like just using clippers. I just used clippers for this whole haircut and I used guards, I didn't use anything fancy. Here I'm just gonna touch up the fade now using my trimmers. I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys that I didn't use trimmers, I didn't use anything fancy, I didn't use the shavers. So now if you do have trimmers, you guys can stick around and just kinda clean up that the, the bottom portion of the fade to give it that nice, clean, blurry effect. For the finishing touches, all I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna connect and use some hair fibers for the sides of my beard. I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna use some Cantu moisturizing cream for the top of my curls. So that's what I like using to finalize my cut. Depending on what you guys like to use, use that, but make sure you guys, you know, go that extra mile so you guys can end up looking nice and crisp because you know, it's your hair, it's your look. So you wanna make sure you maximize your potential. This is the before, before I bless myself, before I put myself in a blender. This is the after, after all the, the techniques, the steps, setting the base, setting the guidelines, the foundation, erasing the guidelines. Thank you YouTube for watching my tutorial. I highly encourage you guys to do your own self cut. It'll save you guys uh, hundreds of dollars every year just by learning how to cut your own hair. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Drop down a comment down below. If you guys got any questions, subscribe to the channel. Peace.